what is it? So there is a massive mud crab, but I'm pretty sure that's a female. So we'll get her out. So this big girl right here is not what this video is actually about. So the other day when I was down the Gold Coast, I went fishing at this absolutely beautiful location. The water was crystal clear. I got the drone up in the air, got some awesome footage. So I'll roll the clip for you right now. And also before you go anywhere, I just wanted to say at the end of this video, I'm gonna be doing a shout out competition on this channel. So if you wanna see how you can get entered into that, um, just watch to the end of the video and you'll be able to see how to stop seagull catch and cook next up. But yeah, as I was just saying, watch to the end of the video if you want to see how to get entered into this competition. But if not, enjoy the clip. So I'm back here at the same place that I filmed my last video with that massive mud crab and those awesome squid. And what I'm going to be doing today is what you guys didn't know is the night before that we came down here and got busted off by an absolutely massive fish. It took a live squid and took me right down the river. So I've come back tonight with some heavier gear and hopefully I'll be able to get it. Now I've also got a shark rod, I've got some fresh mullet too and a popper. So hopefully we're just going to be having a bit of fun and seeing what we can catch. And then also after dark we'll be able to walk up this bank and see if we can find any more mud crabs, any more squid. And pretty much just have a bit of a fun time. So let's start getting these rods together, get these mullet on, get the drone up in the air and have some fun. I'm just going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must. For me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now. So it's five o'clock at the moment. We're gonna be. Oh, yep. Oh, did you do you believe that? Yep. Oh, it just snapped everything. Can you believe that? You got more gear, or? Yeah, that's crazy. I'm holding it next time. I'm not letting go of this rod anymore. So as the sun set, we ended up fishing into the night, and I knew it was only a matter of time before Ready? I hooked up again. Yep. So we're hooked up to something here. Oh! Gone. Again. So I just got busted off again. The same thing that happened last time. I hooked up to it and then all of a sudden I just hear a pop and it was gone. So I really don't know what's happening. I guess all I can do is get it back in the water and hope that next time it holds. Yeah, it's something. It might be a stingray, but it's something. That's better than nothing. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it's a... It's got head shake. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a big eel. Take a look at that, that's a moray eel right there. It's just taken that mullet chunk and swam right into a bunch of weeds. And luckily I was able to get it out. I think this is what's been taking our bait this whole time. So we're just gonna bring him up onto the beach real quick. Luckily the hook's just in the corner of his mouth there. But take a look at that. That is a fat moray eel. So believe it or not, there was a story from a couple of years ago where a massive moray eel out in the Great Barrier Reef took someone's hand off, like their whole hand was gone. Now these moray eels can get absolutely massive. They can grow well over two meters in length and be that thick. So think about this guy and his razor sharp teeth and a head being that big. It would literally easily take your hand off. So that's something you gotta be careful for with these eels. And just like that, he'll swim off nicely there right back into his home. Look at that, that's actually so cool. Yeah, so sadly I was only able to catch that massive moor ale and although the king tides were cool, I think it was that. Well, I'm gonna blame it on that anyway, just to make myself feel better because it seems like whenever I come fishing down in any spot, I end up just catching an eel. Like, I, I go up to the sunny coast, I just catch eels in the creek. So I come down here to catch something different and then I catch a moor eel, which is a bit annoying, but Anyways, so the next clip is from a different location that I went with the boys. Connor and Declan, we ended up going down to this absolutely awesome creek system. There was massive like gorges, really deep water. It was awesome. I'd love to get the drone down there one time. So I'll roll you the footage of that right now and I really hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so you might have actually seen this place on a few of my previous videos, but it's pretty cool. There's a little rock cliff up here we'll climb up to. Take a look at that. Up under there is actually a bat cave and there's a heap of bats that live in it. But I reckon it's going to be a pretty good day today. Hopefully we might be able to go 
swimming with some turtles or something and like see what we can catch. Let's go. <laughs> Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Connor. Connor's like to me, I'll oh, film this, that'll be so sick. <laughs> what do you got to say about that? Yeah, not bad, good size. <laughs> Go boys. Look how awesome this creek looks. I'm so keen to see what animals we find as we get further down. Look how clear that water is, that's awesome. We've just spotted the first animal of the day. If you take a look down here, it's a little lace monitor right in there. Look at that. Now these guys are very territorial and you can see he's actually standing his ground at the moment. Take a look at him. You're so cute. If I actually keep the camera here, he might have a go at it. So I reckon it's best to just leave this guy alone. Keep heading up the creek. We've literally been walking up the creek five minutes and we've already found that. I wonder what else we're gonna find. Ooh, nearly fell. All right. And this is where it ends. We can't climb up there and we can't get up that way, so we actually have to swim through the water. Ready? Take a look at that over there. Now, it's not running as much because it hasn't been raining much recently, but it's still a beautiful waterfall. We're just climbing up this cliff to have a jump, start to a big adventure. Got the cliff jump here, Declan's already in. We've checked the bottom, make sure there's no rocks we can jump on or anything. Let's get into it. What have we got here, Decky? Throat swing. Yes. Right there. You jump off this rock up here. We're gonna send a backflip first up. Hopefully this works. Woo! Oi! I didn't want to come. <laughs> I'd rather be safe at home in my bed. Do it, Deck. So yeah, that place was absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely going to be going back there, maybe doing a camping trip or something like that further downstream. So yeah, as soon as I get my license, start of next year, start of next year, 2nd of January is my birthday. When I get my license, it's over. I'm going to be filming videos all the time. But yeah, anyways, I'm keen to do some more camping trips as well. That's what I really want to do, like, like some solo survival kind of stuff in the rainforest. That's one video that I've been wanting to film for a while. So I'll definitely be doing that soon. But yeah, anyways, what else have I been doing? I went fishing at this awesome waterfall. It was absolutely massive. I climbed up to the top of it, got my drone up there as well, and got some awesome footage as you can see right now. But yeah, I just finished grade 11 at school and I left for the second time. I left ages ago and then went back this year and now I've left again, but what I'm gonna be doing now is YouTube full time. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I've got some really cool videos coming and next year, trust me, it's gonna go off. I'm aiming to post one to two videos a week. So that could be 50 to 100 videos a year. And to think that I was the one who dropped out, I just added that up in my head right then. All right, so before you go anywhere, I just wanted to do a competition real quick. So if you wanna be in this competition and get a shout out on one of my next videos, all you need to do is like, comment and subscribe. But also what I want you to do is what I want you to comment down below is what videos you want me to make, what videos you'd like to see me make in the future so I can make those videos and entertain you guys. But yeah, also leave a like for this chicken if you like it. And I'll be picking someone random within the next few weeks that comments down below, likes and subscribes, and I'll give you a shout out to my million subscribers. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next adventure.